what is going on YouTube boy Billy back here and welcome back to my channel guys so in today's video I want to talk about the 4.88 jailbreak that people have been spreading around and I want to shed some light on that topic so um, a bunch of people have been making videos and they have been calling it 4.88 jailbreak like how to jailbreak all PS3 with 4.88 um, some of those videos a lot of those videos are very misleading because what they're doing is just simply updating from a low firmware to the latest evil nat 4.88 firmware now if you have a jailbreakable or compatible PS3 that is jailbreakable you cannot jailbreak that PS3 at this moment because the website have not been updated for you to use it to jailbreak your PS3. Now some people call HEN a jailbreak, but it is not a jailbreak. HEN stand for Home Brew Enabler. It is not a jailbreak. HFW is not a CFW. It's just a modified um, firmware. That's all. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk to you about is that it is possible for you to jailbreak a compatible PS3 if you have a E3 flasher. Now, a lot of people said, oh, we don't need the E3 flasher anymore. It's absolute, it doesn't make any sense. But the E3 flasher can jailbreak any compatible PS3 that is jailbreakable. So all the FAT, it doesn't matter what firmware you're on with the FAT PS3, E3 Flasher will jailbreak it no matter what. If you have a slim, a compatible slim, 2001 model all the way up to 2500, some 2500, you can jailbreak it. It doesn't matter which firmware you're on. Now, I am not telling anyone to go and buy an E3 flasher. All I'm doing is just shedding some light on that situation. Okay, guys, so we're on the PS3 right now. I'm going to head over to the website and show you that you are unable to jailbreak your compatible jailbreakable PS3 with 4.88. So currently, I am on 4.88. And my system is compatible for jailbreak. There's my firmware. So let me just head over to the internet browser and show you guys something. So press start. You guys should have this blank page already, but it doesn't matter. But just press start and you want to type the ps3exploit.com. Once you get to here, go to the BG toolset go down to main website okay everyone so now we're on the BG tool website and let me just show you a few indication that will tell you that the website have not been updated and also that you cannot jailbreak your PS3 using this website at the moment with 4.88 this website is only compatible at this moment with 4.87 you need to wait until it updated all right guys so as you all can see right here memory editor flash memory manager and file manager these options are grayed out so we cannot use these options because the website have not been updated to work with 4.88 However, you can still jailbreak your PS3 using the website if you have 4.87. But for right now, 4.88 is out of the question because the website have not been updated. Let me show you another indication right here. If we go down to the third tab here, minimum requirement, it shows here. PS3 firmware version 4.80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, and 87. This is what the website is compatible with right now. You guys need to wait until 4.88 is added to the website. Let me show you one more indication. If you go to logs, you will see it says the current browser is not running on the compatible PlayStation 3 system. 
The reason for this is that the website does not recognize 4.88 as yet because the website have not been updated. So it's as simple as that guys. Just give it time until the website have been updated and you can jailbreak your PS3, your compatible PS3 with the BG tool website. Those videos that have been circulating saying that jailbreak 4.88, those are misleading videos. So there, here's the news guys. If you want, you can check it out yourself and read it yourself and all of that. But that's the video guys. Thank you all for watching. When this website get updated, I will make a video also. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.